I think I'm in love, she know she bad But what's new, maybe the baddest I want you girl Hey, you're watching Team Femininity and my name is Rose on this channel we talk about femininity leveling up and elegance for teenagers and so if you're interested consider subscribing to become a diamond so today's topic is modesty and um, please pardon me if you hear any background noises but yeah let's just get right into it so um a few days ago i think last week um i came home like two weeks ago but then last week i saw this amazing video by the universal feminine it was about modesty a rant a rant about modesty and how the beauty standards is bs and girl i loved it okay so i'm gonna link that video down below so they can check it out but it was an amazing video on modesty the beauty set and it really opened my eyes on a different level okay so let's just go into this but i got this idea from her like, i got this topic from her and so if she's watching this thank you but yeah let's get right into it so modesty on this journey is so important it doesn't only involve how you dress but also how you carry yourself and it must be included if you're trying to be elegant so there are benefits of modesty which i feel like at times people don't know and so they don't appreciate it but then it, it brings respect you not only respect yourself but others respect you because you are perceived as a lady by others. Because there are certain things that people cannot say or talk behind their back about you. They can't put you in a, a specific category as they will put others. And not every they can't say everything to you because they have that respect for you and they do not see you as the those who don't practice modesty okay another one is that you leave no room for people to question your behavior due to your appearance no matter how innocent you might be the way you dress talks about how like the way you dress allows people to talk about you so you might be a sweetheart but because you're not modest they won't classify you as an innocent person they might not even bring your kids or sisters around you because you do not look like someone they need to be around um a next one is that you gain confidence and unless you practice this you might not know how it gets confidence but then you become comfortable and the last another one that miracle really pointed out that's her name the universal feminine she pointed out that you lose the desire to fit in this generation's beauty standards because you wait and you become happier with your body because you don't really show off you know what this generation is working for everybody wants a big butt everybody wants a nice chest you do not really show it off and so you become like you do not feel unhappy with it no matter what you look like you do not try to fit in this beauty standard you do not try to flex out your butt you do not try to like your chest and so since you're covering it up so you become happier with yourself and the last thing is that it allows people to take you seriously take you more seriously since you're not seen as a sex object but as a lady it also allows you to exude some mystery this one was something i heard from boys that they I think it's a bit mysterious when you cover up because people wonder what's behind all that as I said it's not just because of the way you dress but the way you act that and especially when you know how to be both feminine 
and sexy and elegant and it just attracts better it attracts better people it attracts better boys because you're covering up and so they're not coming for you because of your body or anything so now what is the aim of modesty well google says that modesty is a mode of where you dress and department which intends to avoid the encouraging of sexual attraction in others and not to invite undue attention so the main aim of modesty is to avoid encouraging sexual attraction and not to invite undue att- attention and not to invite undue attention so instead I read from a website that instead of thinking of what modesty is, you should think about what modesty is not and build your outfit from there. So you are not supposed to make people think of sex when they see you or you shouldn't bring unwanted attention because that's the main aim of modesty. And wait but just keep in mind that we cannot keep people from having lustful thoughts about us but there is a way we communicate to them through our outfit think this is appropriate for school to be wearing look what she got on what pants a top that covers everything that's that's the issue what what she's wearing so because she got some shape it's, it's a problem for you. You know goddamn well she was built like SpongeBob SquarePants. You wouldn't have given two shits. Matter of fact, no one would have taken that picture. How about we talk about that? Who snapped that? Woman trying to educate children, trying to do her job. And she got some fool sexualizing her. Hey, here's a thought. How about we normalize not sexualizing a woman for having attributes that we desire? How about that? Meanwhile, he's like, leave a comment and follow. How about fuck off? I personally didn't see anything wrong with her outfit because she's literally wearing a turtleneck with jeans and boots. Like, the only part showing are her hands and her face. So, like, if people are going to have negative things to talk about you, they are going to say it. But then she didn't put herself out there because someone was holding a camera and took pictures if she actually dressed inappropriately then maybe the guy who was talking had some points you know she didn't she didn't avail herself like that unconsciously she didn't avail herself for things to be said to her about her like that and so that's what you have to keep in mind and let's be honest even if she was wearing a trash bag she would still look gorgeous Put in mind that there is no reason for a man or anybody to disrespect you because of the way you dress. But then we shouldn't just put ourselves out there to be in those certain situations. There is no excuse, okay? There is no excuse for someone to disrespect you because of the way you dress. But you shouldn't put yourself out there. Just keep it in mind that it is okay to dress however you want but i feel like some people dress immodest because of attention because i feel like that's one thing that's something i used to do be immodest for attention but there are other ways you can get attention get it with class and elegance not with your body (laughs) and under your attention just make sure you are not a distraction when someone sees you don't let them be distracted by your body but by your grace and elegance and omg i love it again so much i know that body content tells you to walk in a room and get their attention with your diamonds your jewels your nails your heels they just suddenly heads would turn and just get your attention. But as I said, you should you should enter a room with as a lady with class and elegance, not with that boss be behavior. That 
the boss B behavior is more or less like the for the leveled up community, not for the elegant. So if you want to be more leveled up, go for it. But that's not under the elegance. So things like really really big shiny jewelry with the diamonds and everything yeah you shouldn't go for that long nails extremely long nails really really long heels and outfits with a lot of cuts like ribbed jeans ribbed jacket ribbed dresses like i didn't even know there were ribbed dresses but there are ripped dresses around <laughs> and just really really short stuff like short top short like those stuff just they just are more with the bougie side the leveled up community side but not with the elegance and sophisticated side but there are crop tops and um some shorts which can be leveled up depending on the occasion of the place or the style it is as long as it's not too revealing it can be classified under the elegant you no know, you know some crop tops that you pair with some, a blazer and some long jeans like something like that and but um and with shorts maybe for the beach or some place but not like just walking around like on a normal day or something and the with the ripped outfits ripped as in getting the tension to specific places like your chest there are dresses that are just ripped everywhere and you have no understanding of it at times we try to embrace that inner boss ish that boss b behavior but on this journey you must be appropriated appropriate and sophisticated so now let's go to modesty and femininity so in when embracing your femininity you, you must be able to embrace your sensuality one way or the other so in embracing your femininity it can feel empowering to be sensual and embrace your nudity but there should be a limit okay just because you enjoy showing off or you become you become comfortable in showing off your legs and your chest it doesn't mean it is doesn't mean their opposite sex will see and receive your confidence the same way to you you're embracing your feminine beauty but to others it's perceived as offering yourself because to 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 them to them you never really looked bad you just weren't confident okay so to them you just looked okay you had a nice body you you look good and besides we're all growing so our bodies are still changing but then well once you become like indecent you basically offering yourself to them to see whatever you have not and they don't care cuz it's not like you were shy but to them it was more like now you're just giving yourself to them femininity tells you to embrace your body embrace your shape embrace your sexuality like it tells you to enjoy and appreciate the fact that you're a woman but then it shouldn't be in a way where it is like public it should be public cuz like you loving yourself is you no one has to love you better than you <laughs> and god of course but then nobody has to love you when it comes to us on earth nobody should love you more than you you should appreciate yourself and not put it out there for everyone to know or for everyone to really look at you and view your body don't expose yourself like that cuz they they never had a problem with you you had a problem with you so work on that now let's go to ways to dress more modest so you should like more modest you should avoid giving that sexual vibe 
there is a difference between being sexy and being and just being sexual so you should learn that difference and try to brush it next one is that you must feel comfortable girl if you wear something and you cannot bend you know it's not right at times it's good to get out of your comfort zone but it should be towards the classy direction not the b direction when i mean b i mean b i t c h okay i don't want to curse so i'm learning that so um i hope you understand but yeah it should be more in the elegance direction not in that direction now let's go to some way somehow my favorite (laughs) modesty and sensuality it's my favorite it's some way somehow my favorite because like i see so many i feel it's empowering it feels empowering so (laughs) i feel like that's why it's my some way somehow favorite but now okay so try to look where i just want to put it out there that being modest and sensual it kind of goes against each other but then you should learn how to balance it when but not to use it all the time i feel like you should use it more the time between you and your partner most of us aren't dating yet but to those who are, you might be watching my video and you're a bit older and or you're already in a relationship or married. Um, you shouldn't do this all the time. You should consider those around you. If it's your boyfriend or it's your husband, I feel like I personally agree if you do this more with your husband but not with your boyfriend, you know, because stuff. But, like, yeah, it should be more of being, like, magnetic and just embracing that feminine beauty. Because as women, we are gorgeous. We are gorgeous and we have amazing bodies and we grow beautifully. But, yeah um like going on dates for example you can try these tips when you're going on a date like once in a while like a date that deserves it not like going to the park or going to a coffee maybe like an expensive dinner then you just dress in a sensual way yet classy and modest you know so yeah here are my tips try to look good Make an effort in taking care of your teeth, scent, skin. Another one is to wear clothes that fit you and show off your shape, but not too tight and not too loose. I feel like this is usually the style of Marilyn Monroe. She, uh, Mar- Miracle gave this quote in her video that Mar- Marilyn Monroe once said that wear clothes that are tight enough to show that you are that are fitting enough to show that you are a woman but um, not too tight to show that you're not a lady something like that i didn't check up the quote i'm sorry but something like that so wear clothes enough to show that you have an, a body you have a nice body you have your curves everything but not too tight to show that you yeah you are a girl but you're still classy you're still not like the rest so another one is to show a bit of skin but not too much <laughs> yeah something like to tease and this is like when you're going on a date that your partner put a lot of effort in not just any date like going to a coffee shop or something but like a a nice date or like maybe you're going out with your um spouse or something so with this you either show some level of your top and cover your bottom or vice versa or then you just capitalize 
you know some of the features you like about yourself maybe it's your eyes so you roll your lashes and just put some mascara maybe it's your lips red lip gloss maybe it's your thigh so you just get like a thigh high outfit and everything else is covered or like maybe it's your chest so like you get a V um, blouse you, you get you get what I mean you know just something like a tease you know you don't want to give him everything <laughs> it's so weird we're talking about boys like that I'm sorry okay so the next one is red lip gloss or red clothes this is scientifically proven that and my favorite color is red so like I back this up it's true just red red lip gloss or red clothes besides red is associated with passion and like it just looks good okay it's my favorite color so no arguments the last wait another one is to smile and exude elegance this is true no arguments about that but another one is to be yourself maybe you are a tomboy and you're being more elegant if you like skateboarding if you like soccer if you like football whatever it is just be yourself if you can dress like girly but then when it comes to like talking you can just express yourself and be passionate about it with everything there's a limit okay but then it should exude you remember that this journey is all about improvement and improving yourself but it doesn't mean you have to change everything about you just change the bad things about you so if you like football and then you're discussing and you're just talking about yourself and you want to express your joy and your love and your laugh and everything just talk about it you know because it looks good when it's authentic Another one is body language. Girl, the way you walk, the way you move your hair, these are ways I feel like you're more sensual about it. Even your eye contact, just like the way you appreciate your body and then you move with it. <laughs> Okay, the next one is self-care rituals. You know, like dancing, bubble bath, face masks, just stuff that makes you like be with your body. That stuff that you enjoy. I personally like like taking care of my skin. Then you know maybe wearing my favorite dress. Then like modeling. You know, moving my hips. Like these are stuff that makes me feel pretty. Another one that makes you feel or makes you more essential is soft voice or yeah soft voice it has to be delicate soft gentle there's something about when um women who are feminine and elegant like the pretty girls who are also pretty nice they express themselves and like their voice is so nice like disney girls you know that makes sense like disney princesses like they have a nice voice which is soft and gentle another one that makes you appear more sensual and you can add to your modest journey is delicate mannerism even even the way you touch and hold things like the way you hold your glass the way you speak to the waitress like these are stuff that makes you more pretty you know and makes you sensual okay so yeah and another tip how to st dress more stylish and yet modest so these are the things you have to consider you have to dress for the season occasion formality activity and those going to be around you so with season girl you can't wear a turtleneck when it's so hot outside you see and you can't wear like no hands sleeveless tops when it's like really really cold so you have to dress for the season not just for fashion don't join the crowd if it's hot wear something loose if it's cold wear, like girl chill don't 
don't follow the crowd. Another one is formality. Is it formal? Is it semi-formal? Is it informal? No. Like when going on dates, are you going to like have a stroll in the park or you're going to a restaurant? Know where, what to wear, when to wear. Another one is activity. Maybe you're going to the beach, then um, you take a bikini. I feel like when you take a bikini, then you take like um, a cloth. I don't know the name for it called the cloud, but the one you wrap around your waist, like to give to elevate your curves when you're just walking around the beach or a long skirt with a bikini top, like on the beach. Then when you're going into the water, you take it off or them like depending on the activity, maybe you're it's snowing and you want to chill outside, whatever it is. The particular activity, make sure you dress for it. Another one is consider those around you. Are there going to be a lot of girls? Are there going to be men? Are there going to be adults? Are there going to be kids? Consider the way you dress. And I feel like with modesty, it's depending on your location and your culture. Because for us, like in Africa, um in the olden days like in the past it was very common for us to like cover only the um only our private parts and just expose the rest and it was okay but now no you can't do that so it, it depends on like where you're coming from and um the times and everything so consider know what's in and what's out but like don't try to fit in like girls diamonds you're smart so i know you know but that's all i have for you concerning stylish yet modest not uh, so these are the things that could help you on your modest journey so one is to follow content creators that are more modest just like the way you want it i feel like people like laurie harvey she is at times modest yet leveled up so she blends it she's not modest all the time but when she is like she adds a bit of leveled up and so it's balanced and Marilyn monroe is more like ladyish like you know follow the people that you know are modest and stylish to get um, inspiration. Another one is to check out Pinterest boards and various aesthetics that can be modest. The third one is to check out YouTube also. But um, the last one is to let your modest suit your journey and tradition, heritage, religion, or basically where you come from and where you're going. So these are th some tips. And all I just want, I just want to conclude by saying you should be loose and comfortable with modesty and not view it as something stiff, but to express yourself. And lastly, don't be judgy. Just because you are trying to be modest, that doesn't mean that someone who isn't trying to be is less valuable or like there's an issue don't go around thinking like oh everyone should wear long skirts everyone should be this should be that not everyone is on this journey not everyone likes the style not everyone wants to be different some people want to fit in and that's okay as long as you do what makes you feel beautiful and comfortable so these are my tips and i hope you learned something and please check out miracles video it was amazing and subscribe to your channel to become a fairy. But don't forget to subscribe to mine. And become a diamond. I love you. And stay blessed. Bye. Letter to Christian girls from a Christian guy. Dear girls, I so admire your passion and desire to follow Christ in all aspects of life. And because of that, I want to bring this to your attention. The issue of modesty has been mishandled and brought into a legalistic place over the last years. Because of that, you may feel the urge to abandon any kind of conversation on the topic. I know there's been a double standard, and there shouldn't be. Guys need to work on this too. We are accountable to God and God alone, not the opposite gender. Having said all that, coming from a guy 
guy who tries to run from sexual temptation, your modesty is a blessing and a gift to those around you. You are serving us on our journey to follow Christ. We know that you're dressing for God, but we're thankful that the fruit of your obedience is a blessing to us as well. Thank you.